Hello everyone. So I just wanted to clear that this recording is happening on Thursday morning. Meanwhile, the live trading session you're about to see right now was happened yesterday, Wednesday. So I just wanted to share with you what happened in the premium forex signals group because I'm really very proud and very happy for what happened yesterday. Um, we have made more than 140 pips of profit delivered to our clients yesterday. And of course, what happened on Monday and Tuesday was a very exceptional because the market was very unstable due to the news about the promising vaccine for the COVID-19 virus. And I really hope that these news are over. And thankfully, we are now back on our feet and we have delivered a lot of profits yesterday to our clients and really hope they are enjoying it. And I wanted to share with you this very beautiful message that I have received from one of our, our clients. And yes, I'm really very happy to see this message and read it. Uh, he said here, not many perform as well as you guys do. It's important to keep the bar high. And definitely, yes, sir, we are doing our best and hopefully it will be always up to your expectations. And of course, guys, it's not only the premium group, even my midweek analysis uh, video or midweek analysis has done really very well. I mean, really look at the pound USD. I'm, I'm not being showing off here. I'm just very proud of my work. And I think I have the right to do that because this signal of the pound USD has just worked perfectly fine. As you can see, the pair hasn't even moved even one pip above the entry and right now the pair is going in 74 pips of profit also the gold the gold signal has worked just perfectly perfectly fine and just yesterday it has went all the way to the take profit level making almost 140 pips of profit for everyone who have entered it and even after that the signal as i said after hitting the take profit level is not uh, qualified anymore to be valid however the signal went all the way up again to the same entry and if in case anyone have taken this one which they shouldn't have done however the signal has also now going again in the profit of course the other pairs uh, such as the AUD USD, AUSD CAD still struggling and USD GPY uh, sadly didn't work well USD CHF is, in going, in, is going in the profit Euro USD right now also is going in a profit of 22 pips so I'm very happy because everything is going very well in the uh, midweek analysis and also in the premium group it's all going really very nice so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is the last speaking so of course in this video i'm going to do some live trading session and i'm going to use the 20 pips a day strategy now of course first i have to explain to you the reason why did i enter this trade now of course i'm on the pound and zd and if we go to the four hour time frame for the pound and zd what we can see right here is first of all we are having here a double uh, double uh, double bottom pattern and of course, everyone knows already that this pattern usually indicates a bullish reversal. So most likely right now, the pound is going gonna, is gonna to rise. Now, therefore, after identifying the direction on the four hour time frame, we need to switch now to the 15 minute time frame. On the 15 minute time frame, it's going to, uh, sorry, I'm going to decide where I'm going to place my entry. So on the four hour time frame, we identi identified the direction of the trend. So we know that we should be looking for buy orders. 15 minute time frame. Now we are looking to, to, uh, to know where exactly we can place our entry. Now, what we can see right here also, uh, on the left side, we are having this strong, uh, or sorry, key support level. Now, let's look more to the left. On the left as well, we can see that re right, right here, we had another key support level. Now, let's go back to the current time. Now, as we can see right here also. Now, we can see right here, we're having here a support number one, because right here, we had the bullish breakout candle from that resistance. All right, cool. Now, this is a support number one, and I have simply placed my order on support number two very simple and very easy hit and uh, hit and run rules and of course not to mention that this price has already reached this the edge of the support and immediately reversed indicating that there is a strength on that support level so it's a good level to start buying the pair 
Now, the pound is rising, actually. I think it's rising because of this news about uh, a potential um, agreement on a deal or no deal for next week about Brexit. So let's move to the other pound pairs to find a good entries levels. Now, for the pound AUD, pound AUD seems all right. But however, I really don't like it because there is no strong support in the past on the same level. The only good support level I can see is lying right here, which is still far from our entry, which is 16 pips away far from our uh, desired entry. So let's move to the other pair. Let's check the pound CAD. Pound CAD is also rising, but however, it's not good at all to, to place any buy order right here because we are on a top of a resistance level. Let's go to the pound GPY. Pound GPY is rising and rising actually strongly. And however, it's not really the right time to place any buy orders. So I'm going to skip it. Go back to the pound CHF. The pound CHF is also rising and therefore um, it's in nowhere good to buy right now. So let's see what we're going to happen with the pound USD. Pound USD also still rising. So, however, only the pound uh, NZD is still valid. And right now we can see that it's, it's going against my direction. Um, seven pips so far, which is really fine. I'm thinking if I can place another buy order for the pound NZD just to fix my entry. Uh, I really prefer the lowest entry. This one. Right here. That is the strongest support level right here on the left side. And I really prefer if I can place uh, my buy order to be exactly at the lowest level of the support as well. So yeah, instead of opening another trade with different pair, I'm going to open another trade. I'm just thinking if I should do it or not. Yes, the pound is rising. Definitely the pound is rising. Going to the four hour time frame also. The pound is still rising. And as we can see right here, on the four hour time frame here, we have a support level. That support simply cannot be ignored. So therefore, yes, yes, I'm gonna do it. And I have placed two orders on the same pair. Um, I'm rarely doing that, but I have to do it anyway, because right now I'm on my live account and this is a live trading session. So should be fine. It's all right, it's okay. It's just as the same if opening uh, two trades on two different pairs. Now, let me just set the stop loss for the first trade to be also 20 pips. And for the second trade also, it's going to be 20 pips as well. And of course, uh, the take profit level is going to be the same. 20 pips from the, f f uh, from the first trade. Uh, I think this is the same one, right? 20 pips, yeah. 20 pips from the second trade which is should which should be uh, in profit guys sorry forgive me if i sound a little bit nervous but it's not easy to trade your live account on youtube and you are recording not only that but you are also explaining every single movement you are doing and yeah it's just not easy at all especially with thankfully about fifty thousand followers and i know only three three thousand of them maximum is gonna watch this video However, I respect all my followers and each one of them is my treasure. And I just hope I'm going to keep all of the followers uh, forever, hopefully. And of course, I wanted to thank you guys for watching my channel and for following. And hopefully I'm going to be up to your expectations. So anyway, um, we are having now these two trades running on the same pair. Uh, I like to check the gold. Let's check the gold to see if we have a good entry. And definitely, yes. Oh my God. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. That is the, that is the entry I'm looking for. Let me just explain the reason. Now, of course, as you can see, first of all, the gold has created here a pattern or sorry, has created here a pin bar. Now, of course, it's not, it's not just about the, uh, the, the price action. It's about the levels. Now, if we look at the left, we can see that the gold has actually reached the highest level of the resistance right here. On the left look at that the gold has never been able to actually break out from that resistance level and this is really the best moment to start shorting the gold and therefore we can see that here we have a pin bar has appeared on the same level of the resistance indicating that the gold should be falling from now on forward therefore i'm going to set my take profit level take profit level is actually going to be that the nearest support right here which is going to provide me 111 dollars of profit and of course i'm going to set the same 
for the stop loss. Actually, my eye is looking here. I'm looking here at the pound and ZD. The pound and ZD is going in deep loss. And so far it's going, it went in total of um, 16 pips against my direction. However, I still believe in my entry. It's a good entry. And yes, definitely good guys. Look, look at the left right here. We can see that we had here a strong resistance, uh, sorry, a strong support level. That support has to be respected again, has to be at least to hit the nearest support or resistance and after that it can actually reverse or might continue the rise i really don't care as long as it's gonna give me some profits so uh the trades are not going well so far i'm gonna keep my eyes on them however uh, i believe eventually they are gonna be in a very good profits and yeah until then allow me please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly to show you what will gonna happen with these running trades and thankfully the gold is giving me the profits that i'm seeking and so far we are going in 24 pips of profit actually guys 84 dollars 83 that is fine for me i'm 90 90 dollars of profit perfect perfect i'm i'm fine with that i'm gonna take it there is absolutely no need to wait for the trade to reach the take profit level a uh, 90 dollars is actually good amount for me from uh, from this scalping session look at the pound and it was really close to the stop loss to be honest speaking, honestly speaking, um, I was on the phone and I didn't pay attention when this happened. Uh, when I look again at the screen, I was like, wow, wow, Whew, saved by the bill. Thankfully, uh, the candle did not hit my stop loss. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to show off. It was pure luck here. Uh, there was, of course, absolutely. There was a chance that it will hit, it will hit the stop loss. However, I really admit that I was lucky on this one because this stop loss here was not based on support or resistance. It was co completely based on the um, the same amount of the take profit level to be as a stop loss. So yes, definitely I was lucky here. So uh, luckily uh, the trade is still going fine and we are in profit. And by the way, this is one of the reasons I really hate using stop loss. And I think you guys have noticed that on my videos everyone almost not everyone a lot of people actually were accusing me for not using a stop loss telling that it's a crazy you cannot really trade you are not a trader so therefore i just started using the stop loss here in front of you while doing the live sessions um usually i don't do that i don't use a stop loss because of that because my it, the, the candle might actually hit the stop loss and immediately reverse however i had to use a stop loss because of this uh because of this time, actually, the market is somehow crazy and we have to be careful. There is a lot of unexpected news happening right now, especially with the U.S. elections, uh, the vaccines that are coming out, um, the news about the coronavirus. Um, there are, yeah, the Brexit is very near. So there is a lot of unexpected news happening recently and we have to pay attention to that. So, so far, I think everything is going very, very well. Uh, the pound and ZD, uh, both of the trades are going in profit. The first one is going on 13 pip, uh, pips of profit. The first one is going in uh, three pips of profit. So I think it's uh, totally fine right now. Let's now wait some time and then I'm going to uh, end this video after showing you when it hit the take profit level. And thankfully, as we can see, the pound and ZD finally is going in the profit. Imagine really if it hit the stop loss, I would be really pissed right now because we could have missed all these good profits. So, so far, the pound and ZD is going in 14 plus 14 plus uh, 5, which is almost oh, it's almost 20 pips of profit right now. So therefore, I'm looking at the amount is almost uh, $50. I think that's enough for me. That's that's fine. That's fine. I'm just looking at the amount only uh, and the amount is actually good for me there is actually no need to wait for it to hit exactly the take profit level as long as i have made good profit out of these three trades so i believe that should be it for now and uh, this was a short uh, live trading session i just wanted to share with you uh, this session so hopefully it will help you also to enhance your, your trading experience and to, to let me let me tell you something here um i have actually already reached my target for uh, this morning and I'm gonna actually trade again this afternoon and tomorrow morning and I'm, I'm going to also open another few trades so the idea here is you should have a proper money management and you should not keep trading the whole day as long as you have reached your target just stop trading for now take rest 
uh, 10 of your computer and just spend some time with your family. I mean, I'm trying to tell you here that you should not spend your whole day trading because if you do that, you will just keep trading and keep trading over and over and over. You will not stop until you actually blow your account or lose your profits. Just stop with a profit and quit uh, the trade for the day. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.